While most of the chefs are feeling upbeat, one chef uh, seems to have lost his rhythm. Bravo? Uh, no, I'm getting like dizzy and shit. Relax, bro. Stop taking breath, bro. You know? It's all I'm doing is breathing. Uh, I don't feel good at all. Jason looked like shit. So I decided to go looking for him. Uh, I helped him over to the medic. What's going on, man? He's burning up. He needs to cool down. You can tell he's overheated. Dude's sweating a lot. Relax. Come, come sit down. I'm fine. He needs, he needs to take it down a notch. I just want to fucking go cook. I feel really weak. How long has this thing going on for? I've been breathing like this like for the past hour. An hour? OK. All right. You don't really sound all right. Uh, why do my arms feel like weak? Because you're breathing all crazy. I'm like, what the hell is he having, a heart attack or something? Uh, that wasn't looking too good for him. Chino, you're on desserts right now, bro, all right? 100% I care about Jason's well-being. But regardless, we can't sit there and harp on it because we still have a service to put out. This is what the kitchen's about, man. We got to pull through, guys. I got you. I'm fine. There you go. Why don't we take some of the stuff off you? It's all wet. I'm fine. Hey. I'm sorry, I don't mean to be like feisty, but no, 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 like, no, no. I'm just We're really pissed off. Minutes before service, Jason is rushed to the hospital, and Chef Ramsay lets the chefs in on his status. Right, listen carefully, please. Not good news. Unfortunately, Jason's been taken to the hospital. He'll be on a few days of bed rest. He will not be returning back to Hell's Kitchen. Damn, like, we didn't even really get out of the gates, and then, like, we are down a man. Like, how the hell that happened? I... Men, have you reached a consensus? Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Jonathan, who was the first nomination the blue team's first nomination was Steve. Why? Just the uh, the different methods he used and failed. The blue team's second nominee. Well, Monterey actually was second. Why, please? I've never had sides stop an entree from going out, and it was really it was yeah. really fucked up. You know, it, it pissed me off a good bit. Yeah. Worthy nominees. But truthfully, I think there are three individuals deserving to step forward this evening. Stephen Monterey and Chino. Three of you, step forward, please. Let's go. Monterey. Yes, Chef. Why do you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen? I think I should stay in Hell's Kitchen, Chef, because I know I can do better than Steven. Steven. Yes, Chef. Why Steven? He tried to step up to the plate, and he really didn't do what he said he was going to do. Neither did you. Yes, Chef, I know. I mean, at the end of the day, I was still in there fighting. You know, I, I, I tried to give him my all. No matter how bad I started off, I, I, I kept fighting. Chino, it just wasn't the garnish that stopped the entrees coming out. Yes, Chef. You had a pivotal position on the fish. It's certainly unacceptable. I thought I could do it until the miso card, and uh, I definitely overextended myself, and I should have said something, but I didn't. You spent more time prepping garlic than you actually did physically cooking. I'm looking for an executive chef. I'm not looking for a prep cook. So, Stephen, you saw what went on? Yes, chef. Who do you think, out of all three of you, should be leaving? Well, I, I already chose uh, Monterey. Chino and I, we, we did get a few appetizers out. Right now, I'm having a difficult time. Honestly, all three of you sucked. My decision is... Chino and Monterey. That's right. Both of you, back in line. Steven, jack it off. Your time is done. Short and sweet. Thank you. Sorry, but I can't go through that again. It's embarrassing being the first one kicked off. I think that uh, Chef Ramsay made a mistake, but it is what it is. It's done. You know, nice guys always finish last. That's probably me. 
tonight was a tale of two kitchens. Ladies, great job. Men, I'm, I'm disappointed. Well, the chef. Who should leave Hell's Kitchen tonight? 100%, Brendan or Chino. Paul, who should go? Brendan and Chino. Jonathan. I voted for Brendan and Chino. If you had to pick one, I'd choose Chino. Some of you guys are just a bunch of fucking phonies, you know that? All you do is scream what Chef Ramsay says, and when Chef Ramsay leaves, you, you just clam up. You don't, you don't want to put yourself you, you, out there. You can go fuck I, yourself, I, Chino. I, you know why they're winning? You know why the girls are winning? They may not like each other, but they all fucking study their shit. I, I'm getting balled out on risotto. What do you do? You go on me. I didn't see you jumping okay. in trying to help somebody I else like I was. I couldn't, I was getting fucked up because I was fucking team up. Player, How can I help somebody by fucking up? You ain't no okay? team player. I felt sorry for him, all right? Means. Fuck you. Guys. Anyway, guys. Brendan, Gina, step forward. Brendan, what is it in here that I haven't witnessed that you've got left? Heart, chef. I don't quit. Character. Those are things that you cannot teach. I don't stop fighting. I know what I want. I want BLT steak. And I want to apologize for lying to you about the fish. I was mistaken in, in giving you the wrong answer. And that is not a reflection of me. Cheater. Yes, chef. Are you done? I'm, I'm not done. I'm going to be as honest as possible to you. Maybe I'm not as good as I thought I was. I thought I was pretty good before I came here. So it's been really humbling. See, I, people like me, I will always get better at something. No matter how old I am, I will get better at something because I, I'll be honest with myself and I can face the facts. Are you better than Brendan? Absolutely. I won't be here if I didn't think that. OK. The person leaving Hell's Kitchen is Brendan, give me your chef jacket. Sure, chef. Your time's done, buddy. Thank you, chef. Well, Thank you. Good night. I'm out. Don't hate the player, hate the game. I'm sad to leave Hell's Kitchen, but uh, I'm going to go back to New York and lead another kitchen to greatness. Uh, I just wanted to give a shout out to Kerry. Good luck. I am your biggest fan. And uh, call me, all right? Where do we start? Ladies, where was the group of women that performed so brilliantly in the second service? It was, it was very disappointing and humiliating. And I feel like the common denominator was Carrie Chef. Jennifer, talk to me. Uh, we were unfocused. We weren't talking to each other. We weren't. It's a dream having two on a section. One takes out the protein, one drives it. I wish I was alone, Chef, to be honest. Whilst you're all jumping on the bandwagon of Carrie, let me remind you, nobody stepped up to the plate. Anyone else got anything to say? This is what needs to happen, is the attitudes need to be adjusted. They do. There's a lot of attitudes in this kitchen, and something needs to happen. Who has the problem with their ego? There's a huge problem between uh, Elise and Carrie and the drama that they've brought. Because people who did work today are pissed. I'm pissed. Krupa stood there. I tried to bail my team out. I, I tried to bail my team out while Krupa stood I had, there. Krupa me. stood there. You I stood there, the honey. There goes the ego, chef. This confirms why no entrees left your kitchen. Jennifer, step forward, please. My next choice is... Carrie, step forward. You know what? Amanda, join them. Kerry, tell me why you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen. I love cooking. It is my passion. It's in my heart. I'm not ready to go yet, chef. I want to prove to you I am good enough. Why is your team so desperate to see you out of here? I don't know what Elise has against me. She's had something against me since day one. I'm not quite sure what it is. It's not just Elise, Kerry. Amanda. Yes, Chef. Why do you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen? Well, Chef, unlike um, Carrie, I am not in denial that I had a fucking crap performance tonight in the kitchen. Yeah. I don't know. Not in denial at all. Um, 
I want this chef. I'm not gonna fuck around and lie to you and say like, oh, you know, save me, you know, feel bad for me, I'm good. I can, I can fucking work my ass off for you, chef. I can do better. You've seen me do better. You didn't fight back. Yes, chef. You threw the towel in. I know, chef. Jennifer. Yes, chef. Why do you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen? Chef, the last days that I've been here, uh, I've become a little bit more comfortable. Um, one of the hardest workers in this kitchen. So why don't you take control then? I thought that you driving the meat would have done it. I should have cooked everything. But again, I have a partner, and I thought she could handle one thing out of seven. It's so easy to throw me under the bus. Why Harry, are you in denial? Harry, I'm, I'm not in denial. Side. I had a horrible performance this evening. I know that. I'm not in denial. So we're not, we're not throwing you under the bus. We're just telling the truth. OK. The person leaving Hell's Kitchen is Amanda. Sorry, your time is done. Give me your jacket and leave Hell's Kitchen. Thank you. Thank you, Chef. Thank you. Thank you. Good night and good luck. Love you, Amanda. I'm so completely and utterly embarrassed and disappointed with myself. My dream coming in to Hell's Kitchen was to win. So to have one of my idols tell me you're not worth it. That shit sucks. <laughs> Blue team, have you come to a decision? Yes, yes chef. chef. Natalie, first nominee. Chino, chef. Chino. He was on the meat station, and the meats weren't cooked to the right temperature. Who is the Blue Team's second nominee? Uh, Monterey, Chef. Why? Based on tonight's dinner service, not being able to get out the fish. Red Team, have you come to a decision? Yes, yes chef. chef. Jennifer, first nominee, and why, please? Carrie, Chef. Carrie. Yes, Carrie is our bottom player. Interesting. Who is the Red Team's second nominee? The second nominee is Elise. Elise, why? The team feels that the arguments between Gary and Elise is definitely part of our problem. Elise, Gary, Chino, Monterey, step forward, please. Monterey, why should you stay in Hell's Kitchen? I know I'm a strong cook. I just had a bad night tonight. You look so out of it. And you just you weren't even responding to the help that was being given. You just shut down. I don't, I don't believe I shut down. I won't say that I gave up, because that's the last thing I do. You shut down. I didn't shut down, chef. I don't care what you say, he say, or anybody else in back of me say. I don't care for fucking nobody. Trina. Why do you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen? It's been rough. It's been rough, to say the least. And uh, I feel embarrassed. I wish I could show the guys, man, what I can do, because... <sighs> what is it that I haven't seen that you've got left in your tank? Redemption. That's a big part of who I am, and I'm not going to give up. That I won't do. Carrie, why do you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen? You know, Chef, I know I've had a rough start. I'm not going to deny that. And I know I'm better than this. I am a fighter. It's in my heart. It's in my soul. Right now, we have to think as a team. And Elise, she is not a team player at all. I have stepped up my game every service, every challenge. I've gotten better. If you ask my team who they'd rather see lead between me and Carrie, I'm sure the answer will be Carrie. Elizabeth, if you had to drop Elise or Carrie, who would you drop? Carrie, chef. Jamie. Elise, chef. Cooper, who would you have dropped? Elise as well. Jennifer, who would you drop? Elise. Tina. Elise, chef. Natalie, you were in the red team. Who would you send home, Elise or Kerry? Elise, chef. No hesitation there. Elise, I did what you asked. I took a vote. Here's the sad news for you. Your team want you out of there so badly, you may be better off. I can guarantee you one thing. I never make the same mistake twice. 
This is my first time on the carpet. This is her second, his second, and his third. It is not my time to go yet, chef. I'm not here to throw anybody under bus. I'm keeping it 100% with you, chefs. I can work on my attitude, but you can't give somebody common sense and talent, especially when you're 31. I'm 26. I have so much to learn and so much more to give. Are you done? OK. Time for a difficult decision. My decision is... Elise. Stop crying and get back in line. The person leaving Hell's Kitchen is... Chino. Three strikes are out, buddy. Give me your jacket and leave Hell's Kitchen. Thank you, Chef. I'm disappointed. My expectations were a lot higher. I came here to cook, you know, and it's a shame that I didn't get a chance to cook a little bit more. But I will never sell out. I'll leave this place with my dignity intact. Paul, first nominee in wine, please. Monterey, Chef. He's had lackluster performances in the last two services. So your second nominee is? Tommy. We feel that sometimes when he gets weeded, his lack of communication is detrimental to the rest of the team. Uh, Red team, have you come to a consensus? Yes, 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 yes chef. Kerry, who's the Red team's first nominee and why, please? First nominee is Krupa. The challenge with the proteins. And also this evening, appetizers, several came back. OK. So your second nominee is? Second nominee is Elise. She failed to communicate, and she held up Sandra's. Elise, Krupa, Tommy, and Monterey. Step forward, please. Elise. Why do you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen? I think I should stay in Hell's Kitchen because I have a lot to give. And I know that I'm not the weakest on my team, but I can guarantee you, Chef, that if you grant me a second chance, I won't be up here a third time. So if you're not the weakest, who is? Gina is the weakest. Krupa, tell me why you should stay in Hell's Kitchen. Help me. My last 24 hours have been my lowest. Are you the weakest chef in the red team? I would have to say at least just because of the attitude. Wasn't looking for the weakest attitude, the weakest cook. I would have to say Gina as well. Tommy, you seem to melt down into a little zone. I could have been more vocal with my team. It was my flaw. But I sure as fuck didn't step down and step back from my station. You cut me off, and then you cut your team off. Chef, it doesn't mean I'm giving up. It means I made a mistake. Monterey, why do you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen? I'm definitely not done here. I push for you and I push hard for my team. Are you the weakest chef in your kitchen, Monterey? No, I'm not, chef. I think I'm a great cook. OK, my decision is... Elise! I agree with you. Gina, take your jacket off. Your time in Hell's Kitchen is done. You are disintegrating. There's no fight back. There's no voice. Please give me a jacket and get out of Hell's Kitchen. Yes, Chef. Thank you. Thank you for the opportunity. Good night. I do think Chef Ramsay was wrong to let me go. He should have eliminated Elise. She's a big problem on the red team. But I absolutely will walk out of here with my head held high. I gave it everything that I had. Blue team, have you reached a consensus? Yes, yes, yes sir. sir. Natalie, blue team's first nominee and why? Our first nominee, chef, is Monterey. He was put on the fish station to kind of take over for Paul, and he was still serving up raw fish. Blue team second nominee and why? Our second nominee is Paul Chef. 
He let us down on the fish station tonight. Overcooked and undercooked fish. Made us all get in the weeds and get behind. Yep. Paul, Monterey, step forward, please. Before I begin, I want to hear from one other person. Jonathan, get your butt up here. That's right. Wow. I'm seriously disappointed. Paul, that was one of the worst dinner services I've ever witnessed. I'm sick to my stomach of what happened tonight. I ruined somebody's 20-year anniversary that they'll never get back. I feel that I'm not done, Chef. I take full responsibility for what happened, but I really, really don't want to go. I'm unconvinced. You disintegrated. You backed up the entire dining room. I know, Chef. I had the worst service of my life. I am so disappointed in myself that I'm literally cringing. Cringing of watching you at the pass and I'm shitting on you every fucking table because I couldn't get my shit together. I don't want that to ever happen again, and I have enough determination to make sure it won't fucking happen again. That's why I still want to be here, because my fire isn't out. Paul. Chef. Back in line. Thank you, Chef. I'm on the fence right now. Jonathan, are you a better chef than Monterey? Yes, Chef. Why? I have the uh, communication. If I think it's going to be wrong, I'd rather talk to my team and get it right the first time. You know, try to get a strong start, but get a stronger finish. Monterey. Yes, Chef. What have you got that Jonathan hasn't? I think more experience on just the cooking alone in the language and the ingredients that we work with. I think I got more experience than him. Maybe knife skills as well. Knife skills? Knife skills? Yes, yeah, Chef. I don't know what he's talking about. I've, I've never cut myself since I've been here. It's hard to cut yourself when maybe you just marinate meat all day and okay. playing with meat all maybe day, Chef. Maybe it's OK. The person leaving Hell's Kitchen is Monterey. Give me your chef jacket. Your time is done in Hell's Kitchen. Head up, Monterey. Thank you, Chef. It was an honor. Thank, Thank you, you, bud. Head up, John. Good luck. I appreciate the effort. I truly think that Johnny should have been eliminated because he hasn't done anything since he got here. If I'd have known, you know, to stay in the background and not cooking anything was the key to stay in Hell's Kitchen, I'd have been dead dad from the start. Right, uh, Blue Team, have you reached a consensus? Yes, yes chef. chef. Will, first nominee and why? First nominee tonight, Chef, is Natalie, because she couldn't recover from her bad start on fish. Second nominee and why? Second nominee tonight, Chef, is Jonathan. Same reason he had difficulty recovering on the meat station tonight. Uh, Red Team, did you come to a consensus? Yes, yes chef. chef. Carrie, first nominee and why? First nominee is Krupa. She started on the meat station and it just like, kept getting worse. Second nominee and why? <sighs> Second nominee is Jamie. What's the matter? She had a raw sea bass, but I thought everything else she sent out was fine. So clearly, Jamie wasn't your choice for second nominee. Who was it? My second nominee was Elise, chef. Elise, why? She started yelling the tickets at us when we didn't need someone to continue yelling one ticket over and over and over again. I completely disagree with Carrie, chef. I feel that Carrie is intimidated by my assertiveness, and I felt like it was my duty to call tickets when other people weren't. Nathalie, Jonathan, Krupa, Jamie, step forward, please. Jamie, tell me why you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen. As a chef, I have a lot of fight in me. I know that I'm a good cook. I know I'm a strong line chef. I don't expect you to make those kind of mistakes. Krupa. Why do you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen? Chef, I have a lot still to give, and I can do this without any doubt in my mind. How much longer can I wait? I still have a lot to show you. I've given you some good services, and I've given you some very bad ones, so. You're just on a downward spiral. Jonathan, tell me why you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen. When you told me to fuck off, I wish I would have just looked you in the eye and said no. What? I wasn't ready to walk out of that fucking kitchen because of somebody else's mistake. Come on. Natalie, 
I mean, I, I'm lost. I mean, maybe you're just going to do the honourable thing. Give me your jacket. No, chef, I'm not. I can't sit here and say that I perform like you want me to perform. I know that you know that I'm better than that, and I know that I'm better than that. I'm not so sure. Uh, this is a very difficult decision. The person leaving Hell's Kitchen... Krupa, please give me your jacket and leave Hell's Kitchen. Thank you, Chef. I know you have heart, but your time is done. It hurts that I'm eliminated now, and I'm going to kick myself for this for a very long time. But I have not let anybody back home down, because everybody knows how much I fight for things, and they know how much I have in me. Blue team, you reached a consensus? Yes, yes chef. chef. Paul, first nominee, and why? Uh, our first nominee, Chef, is Jonathan. We had a slow start. Um, second nominee and why? Second nominee, Natalie, chef. Why? We feel that appetizers was the reason why we had a slow start. So our vote tonight is for appetizers, chef. OK. Natalie, Jonathan, step forward, please. Yeah, Paul's right. We got backed up big time. Jonathan, tell me why you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen. First and foremost, Chef, you know, I, I'm not a quitter. I, I don't even know the definition of give up. Tonight, I wasn't 100%, um, but I still, you know, just uh, sucked it up and stepped in and did the best I could to support my team. You know, I, I've made a few minor mistakes since I've been here, but I've definitely learned from those mistakes immediately and adjusted. Truthfully, are you over your head? No, Chef, I'm not. I'm not going to take one step back. I'm going to take two steps forward. I'm a fighter, and I'll stick it out to the bitter end. Natalie, you've shown over the last three services one mistake, you crumble. I just got really frustrated because I felt like I needed to babysit. No, that's bullshit, you know. He you know, said he came to service at 50% tonight, and that's yeah. what I felt. I was frustrated, and I felt like I didn't have someone backing me up. Let me tell you something. That station could be done with one person. I know I'm a leader on this team, and if you need to see more, I'll give you more. Are you proud of your performance tonight? No. No. And the fight back was where? Um, I felt like I tried to pick up the pieces. I really do. The person leaving Hell's Kitchen is... Natalie. Take your jacket back in line. Jonathan. Game over, big boy. <laughs> it's been a real honor, Chef Ramsey. I appreciate it Thank all. Thank you. This is pretty disappointing. You know, it should have been a different call. Natalie's not going to be able to hide behind that bullshit too much longer. You know, it's just a matter of time. Chef Ramsey's going to see through it, and, you know, she'll be the next to go. Jennifer, first nominee and why? First nominee is Carrie Chef. She disrespected you. He threw her out of the kitchen, and instead of following your instructions, she embarrassed us as a team and stood there and fought with you. Second nominee and why? The second nominee is Elise Chef. The appetizers that got sent back were through Elise. And for some reason, these two, their attitudes come out all the time. They bring our dynamic down. We're tired of it. The drama that comes with this. Carrie and Elise, step forward. My goodness me. Sounds like the three ladies standing behind you want rid of you both. Carrie, tell me why you should stay in Hell's Kitchen. I just want to prove you wrong, because you are wrong about me. I am talented. I do deserve to be here. Why do they hate you? Because we're constantly fighting. She's constantly in my face talking shit. I have tried to solve my problem with her. But you know what? Right now, I'm focused on myself. I haven't given up, Chef. 
I have not given up. Elise, tell me why you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen. Chef, I made some mistakes tonight, and I'll never make the same mistake twice. I know that I'm not in over my head like Carrie. I know that I'm one of the final five. You have a problem with your ego. You don't like taking orders. It's your way or the highway. All I can do is apologize for my performance and, and beg you to give me another chance. I think you're done. OK. The person leaving Hell's Kitchen is... Both of you. Both of you. Back in line. The person I'm going to eliminate tonight is going downhill. And I can't deal with it for much longer. The person leaving Hell's Kitchen is... Jamie. You're done. Check it off, please. I can't go any further with you. I'm getting no response. Good night. Bye, Jamie. It's not a good feeling to hear from one of the best chefs in the world that I didn't have what it took to stay here. It hurts deep. It is tough to swallow my pride and walk out those doors. It's one of the hardest things I ever had to do. I'm, uh, I'm lost for words. Jennifer, who's the nominee and why? Uh, nominee is Carrie Chef. We need to work together, and we need to break up the drama. Paul, who's the blue team's nominee? We nominate Tommy, Chef. Why? Because his lack of communication is a constant issue in this service and previous services. Carrie, Tommy, step forward, please. <laughs> Carrie, tell me why you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen. I still have so much more to show you, Chef. I do. I know I have what it takes. That's why it pisses me off so much, because I know I'm better than this. You are good tonight. Unfortunately, in the wrong area. BLT Steak is not looking for a maitre d'. Tommy, tell me why you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen. I don't want to sit here and sell myself to you with the same redundant bullshit that everyone else says. I want to prove myself to you with my cooking, not with, like, some elaborate speech. I'm going to be really honest with you. Like your spirit and you're funny to have around, but on the back of tonight's performance, I don't think you have a big future in Hell's Kitchen. The person leaving Hell's Kitchen is... Carrie, give me your jacket. You're leaving Hell's Kitchen. You have a big heart, you are incredibly ambitious, but you need a bit more time to grow. I'm sorry, give me your jacket, please. Thank you. Head up, Carrie. Keep your head up, Carrie. Bring it on, Chef. I'm not crying. I'll take it. I got it, babe. No, I got it. This is my Don't station. Don't push me. Why is she cooking fish? I don't know what she's doing. It's a bitch dealing with Elise. She's had it out for me since day one. You fucked up the whole rhythm of the kitchen, and I, and I knew this was going to happen. Fuck, I did. Get away from me, Karen. I'm trying to get, get this shit done. Everyone you is don't taking have to yell at me. I'm right You better here. get out of my face. But all the drama aside, I thought I fought hard. You're not, I'm get not ready to quit, out. Chef. No. Get out. Chef, no. I have another one in the oven. I can do this. Fucking sandwich girl. I'm not just some fucking pantry girl. I don't have any regrets because, I mean, cooking with Chef Ramsay has been the most awesome experience I've ever had in my life. Carrie, that was, for me, the best dish you've ever cooked. Thank you, Chef. <laughs> Carrie, how do you sleep? I have sleep dreams. Sarah, Sarah. <laughs> Only person I have to blame is myself. That's what just kills me. Because I know I have it inside me, and I didn't do it. You're getting nervous because you're not getting better. Will. The nominee and why? Natalie, chef. She couldn't cook fish tonight. Jennifer, the nominee and why, please. 
Uh, nominee is... Um, Lise Chef. Her biggest problem is she doesn't admit mistakes. She's first to blame everyone else except herself. Elise, Natalie, step forward, please. Keep your head up, Natalie. Natalie, tell me why you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen. I'm a talented chef. I deserve to be here. I worked my ass off to get here. I've worked my ass off my entire life. I know I'm green. I know I have a lot to learn. But I know that in the end, I can be what BLT is looking for. It's your third time up here. I can't inspire you anymore. There are no places left to hide. Elise, I cannot believe you had the audacity to blame Tommy for your mess. When are you ever going to step up and right now. take responsibility? Right now. Oh, right really? now. You need to go home. You have a family no, at home. No, I don't want to go home. If I don't shine on my next service and perform perfectly, then I'll throw myself out of here. Opportunities like this don't come where I'm from, and I'm very thankful to be here. I can really cook, chef, and I'm just not ready to go until I prove that. OK. The person leaving Hell's Kitchen is... Did you or did you not score the first tray of Wellington? No. Oh, come table on. Table 23, table 21. Every single table on the blue side is complaining about the sea bass tonight. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. You hit the nail on the head there. Natalie, please take off your jacket. Look at me. Continue cooking. Big heart. Love the energy. But you are not ready to run BLT Steak New York. Please give me your jacket. Thank you for the effort. And do Thank not you. stop. OK? Do not stop. Keep your head up, Keep your Natalie. Head up, Natalie. <laughs> Come on, guys. Keep talking to each Good other. Night. To Wellington, Chef. Natalie, good job. I came to Hell's Kitchen to prove to myself that I'm a good chef. You got butternut squash puree. Yes, I do. Joining the blue team, Natalie. I just couldn't imagine sharing an experience like this with anyone other than the blue team. <laughs> no more fucking breaks! I'm not doing it anymore! One, two, three, blue! Hell's Kitchen was one of the hardest things I've ever done in my life. I have a teammate that thinks I was trying to fuck him on purpose. I came in here with the attitude that I could do it, and I never stopped having that attitude. That's awesome. It's what I do, boys. It's definitely disappointing. I obviously came here to win, and deep down, I know I could have done it. <laughs> Blue team, you gave me a performance worthy of a black jacket. Will, congratulations. Thank you very much, Chef. Yeah, continue. Thank you, Thank you Chef. Paul. Thank you, Chef. You deserve it. Thank you, Chef. Tommy, a night of redemption. Yeah, good job. Yes? Thank you, Chef. Well done. OK. Ladies, step forward, please. Good luck, girls. I've got one question for all three of you. What in the hell happened tonight? I felt that leadership lacked tonight. No, I think it was more communication, more talking, more working together, teamwork. And that falls in leadership. It has nothing to do with teamwork. We were all assigned courses. And neither one of you, and you led, led your course. You led I your led course. my course. Interesting. Yes. You know but what? I, know I can what sit happens. here and say Leadership. that if he sends me home tonight, that I fucking worked hard for both of you. That I fucking put my heart and soul for my fucking team. You can't say that. Can you lead a team? Can you listen? Can you lead a team? Yes. You can cook you and you can be a team player. Why don't you shut you up can't for five cook. I'm not going to shut up because I'm fighting for my life right now. You know what? And don't tell me that leadership didn't lack in the kitchen because it did. And I should have took over all of that shit. Done? But I didn't because I wanted you to shine with me. No one respects you. This is why you can't no, be a leader. No, it's not about respect. It's not about respect. It's not about respect. It's not about respect. You don't it's about listen. You don't listen. It's called intimidation. You don't fucking This is exactly what happens all day. This is what we've been dealing with since the beginning. Stop. Elizabeth, tell me why you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen. I am a great cook chef. And it's all that I think about. I, I live it all day. And I, I want to be here till the end, and I want to cook my ass off against great chefs. Jennifer, tell me why you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen. 
I know every day you tell me I need confidence. Me competing against these people would make me confident. I need this because I want to compete against the best. Elise, tell me why you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen. I am a great cook, and it takes more than just being a great cook to run BLT Steak. You also have to be a leader. And I tried to rally my team tonight. I wanted to nail this service. OK. This is a very difficult decision. My decision is... Jennifer, take off your jacket. This has been your worst service, yes? Yes, yeah, Chef. And I don't know what happened tonight, but you were not on the game. Chef, I can do it, I'm telling you. And that is why <sighs> I believe in you. Oh, my God. Put that jacket on. <laughs> Thank you, Chef. Back in line. <laughs> you deserve that jacket. Bring it in. Bring it in. Bring it in. You deserve that jacket. You deserve that. Bring it in. Ladies, this is very difficult. Chef, Chef, please don't give up on me, Chef. Please don't give up on me yet. Please give me another shot, Chef. You're both very passionate. I can do this, I promise you. Both of you, take your jackets off. Elizabeth, come here first. You came here for all the right reasons. You're young. You've got a huge future in front of you, but you are not ready to take command of a brigade. Good night. Keep your head up, girl. Keep your head up. When I stepped foot in Hell's Kitchen, I really wanted to just prove to myself that I could do this. I cooked my ass off. I tried my hardest. I think I am as good of a cook as everybody else in there with black jackets, but it just wasn't my time right now. Elise, first nominee, and why, please? Jennifer Chef, because Jennifer had food come back tonight. Team's second nominee. Me, Chef. Excuse me? Myself. Why? Because I'm overly abrasive. Overly abrasive? Yep. OK, Elise, Jennifer, step forward, please. <laughs> Jennifer, tell me why you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen. Chef, I think I should stay in Hell's Kitchen because I have so much more to show you. I think I'm a better chef than Elise. I think I have better leadership skills. I'm here to show you that I can be a leader. Truthfully. For me, on a personal note, you're just a little too quiet. Elise, why do you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen? Because you're looking for a winner. You're looking for someone who takes charge and can deliver. And that's me. I'm up here because they're intimidated. I'm up here because they're, they're intimidated. intimidated. Yes, they are. They're not. Yes, they are. I can be less abrasive, but one thing I'll never be is a follower like some people that are still here are. Dude, honestly, get over yourself. Enough. OK. My decision is... <sighs> Jennifer, take off your jacket. What? Listen to me. This jacket is filthy dirty. Get this one on oh and get back in line. Oh, my God. Ow. Elise. Let me tell you something really important. No one performed in such a way that they deserve to leave this competition. You have one more chance. Get back in line. What back the fuck? <laughs> I brought in competition to raise your game. And tonight, you made me proud. Good job tonight. Thank you, Thank you Chef. Get out of here. There Good night. Paul, first nominee and why? First nominee, Chef, is Jennifer. Jennifer didn't take control of the appetizer station tonight. She wasn't leading. Second nominee and why? Elise, Chef. She wasn't able to cook anything tonight. Elise, Jennifer, step forward, please. Jennifer, your worst performance so far in Hell's Kitchen 
Why do you think you should stay? My strengths are that I can cook, that I'm organized. My problem is talking to my team. If you can't talk to each other standing next to each other, how in the hell are you going to command a team? Elise, you cook the most expensive salmon in the world upside down. Why do you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen? I think I should stay in Hell's Kitchen, Chef, because I'm just getting started. I'm a good communicator in the kitchen. I'm a leader, but the and problem I can is do you better. argue with everyone. No, you, I didn't argue with anyone tonight. You argue After with chef, me? No, you I argued didn't. right off no, at because me. Because you weren't giving me a time at all, and I was getting further behind because you weren't giving me a time on scallops. I sent up one risotto wrong. How many, how many salmon? Oh, there's a lot of stuff in here. Right now, I have a big issue. I have a chef that can't shut the fuck up. And I have a chef that can't fucking talk. Paul! Who is the weakest chef? Oh. Um. Paul! Oh, son of a bitch. Honestly, Will. Solely based on cooking, chef. Uh, Pure I cooking. I think Elise is a stronger cook than Jennifer Are is. you fucking serious? You are kidding me. I'm not it's saying the truth, you can't the cook. Parts. Paul, do you have a pair of balls? Yes, chef. Then fucking use them. Who's the worst cook? Jennifer, chef. You Thank are you. fucking kidding me. I'm, just, I'm being honest. You know what? You better hope I fucking go home. Tommy, do you have a ball bag? Uh, yeah, it's still here. Uh, nothing personal, but I'd have to say it's Elise. Someone that's fucking honest. No, it's not on. It's Someone real. Someone that's not fucking afraid it's real. of you. No, what? They're not afraid of me. It's not. It's not. They're an... not afraid of me. It's the truth. Wow. It's the truth. That's fucked. Up. It's the truth. Enough's enough. The person leaving Hell's Kitchen. Jennifer. Darling, come here. The heart is amazing. The palate is extraordinary. I just don't think you're ready to run a team. You're a lady, and you don't like fighting. I don't, no, I fight. I just, I want to fight against these fucking two schmucks right now. I want to show them where I fucking stand. I can't believe you two would actually sit here and say that she is better than me. I am. I have a fucking better palate, and I can cook way better than she can. You didn't show it in the challenge. What? Elise, 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 this is not, Elise. That's totally Elise. the wrong way to go about this. You're going about all right. this all wrong. OK. Totally the wrong way. All right. Thank you. Please give me your jacket. Thank you, Chef. Oh, thank you, Diane. Good night. Keep your head up, Jennifer. Fuck you. I guess you don't like me anymore. The pork's actually quite nice. Thank you. And push! Oh my God! You get your ass up there and you fucking fight. I am gonna fight. You don't I'm not fight done with him. him. You know, I'm tired of being second best. I want to be the best. That's why I came here. I think it's the best one we've had so far. Great job. Thank, Thank you. Job. I work fucking hard with them, for them. I make sure you guys are fucking great. Toast to Jennifer. <laughs> you know, to make it this far in Hell's Kitchen, I proved to myself that I can cook. <laughs> the lamb's delicious. Thank you, Chef. Jennifer. Oh, fuck me. Do you want of your team? Go and join them. That's the only good thing right now. They get to deal with the least. Excuse me. Jeez. Shut up for five fucking seconds. You don't shut up. I have more passion and more heart than any of these schmucks. They're lucky I'm gone, because I would have kicked all their asses, because I can fucking cook. OK. I've been doing a lot of thinking. There's a lot to consider. And there is one person who I have, by now, learned to understand. And honestly, from the bottom of my heart, I truly appreciate but I know this individual is just not ready to become the next head chef at BLT Steak New York. That person is... Tommy, please take off your jacket. Keep your fucking head up, kid. Keep your head up, buddy. Love the energy. So keep going. Absolutely. You belong in the kitchen. Wouldn't have it any other way. I need the jacket. Absolutely. Without the tattoos. I don't think they come with it. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Chef. 
Well done. Bring another one. Well done. Thank you. Uh, Later, guys. Bang up job, kid. The tattoo on the forehead says rock and roll. So I've got to take you serious. I'd appreciate it if you did. When I arrived at Hell's Kitchen, my goal was to create some passion and some art. Good job. I mean, really good job. Hey, Will, what do you think of this? He looks like a sexy train robber. Go for it, Tommy. The whole time I was here, I tried to stay true to myself. I don't care about mineral baths and foot massages and rich people. <laughs> I like chicken wings and domestic beer and motorcycle rides. Some ladies. Uh -oh. Tommy, Psst. your mum's there. It's been a learning experience, a humbling experience. He's not talking to me. He's not communicating. Tommy, you have to talk to him. At the same time, it was one of the greatest experiences of my life. This is what it feels like to be better than everybody else. I'm a culinary juggernaut right now compared to when I walked in the door. This isn't the end. This is the beginning for me. And I'm just going to keep on climbing until I conquer the world. Now, there's just three. Two of you will be battling it out one more time to determine who will be the next head chef at BLT Steak in New York City? Well, why do you think you deserve a place in the finals? Chef, I should be in the finals because this is what I'm born to do. This is it. I'm a chef. Nobody in this fucking world can tell me different. Nobody. Paul. I think tonight I solidified why I deserve to be in the finale. Yeah, it wasn't perfect, but I felt that I communicated well. I commanded respect. I motivated my team. I feel that this is my destiny. Elise. I believe with all my heart, Chef, that I deserve a place in the finals because I've grown the most here out of anyone. No one thought that I could do it, but I knew all along that I had greatness inside of me. And I promise to you that I am the epitome of what Hell's Kitchen is about. As passionate as ever. OK. First person into the final is Will. Congratulations. Congratulations, Will. Great job. Thank you. OK. Paul, at least, now I have to choose between you two. And I could easily visualize either one of you in the final. That's how close it is. But there's one of you that I feel can command the kitchen better than the other and won't back down no matter what. The person joining Will is Paul. Yes. Thank you, Chef. Well done. Thank you. You did a good job. You did a great job, Elise. Congratulations. You did an awesome job, Elise. You have nothing to be ashamed of. You go home with your head held high. Elise, step forward, my darling. You should not be in tears now. Listen to me. I've never met anyone so resilient in all my years as you. You're Teflon. Well done. Thank you. Keep your head up high, understand? Yes, sir. OK. Do you know what? <laughs> Keep your jacket. You deserve it. Thank you. OK? Right. Come here. Huh? Well done. Come on, stop crying. Be proud. Cut the Wellington. Let's get our prep up to the window, ladies. Let's go, baby, baby. Very nice, that love spaghetti. Yes, chef. I came here to prove that I could throw down in the kitchen with the best of them. Filet, coconut, sour cream. Richie wins. <laughs> but they was intimidated by my leadership skills from day one I walked in here. No one else is going to talk. I'm going to talk for everybody. You better yeah. get out of my face. You need to work on your attitude. I've been slammed. Hold on. <laughs> Cry time? No. I've been kicked while I'm down, and I still got back up. Perfectly cooked the Wellingtons. Thank you, Chef. I fought hard to be here. Why don't you shut up for five seconds? I'm not going to shut up, because I'm fighting for my life right now. Thank you, Chef Ramsay, for being hard on me. Wake up, Elise. Yes, Chef. They're rubbery. They're watery. And helping me to improve on my weaknesses. Elise. Yes, Chef. They're cooked perfectly. Thank you, Chef. After Hell's Kitchen, I am prepared for any obstacle that comes my way because nothing can be harder than this. OK. 
Choosing a winner was incredibly difficult. Will. The chef. You have been Hell's Kitchen's most consistent chef across the board. And there is no doubt that you belong in a kitchen. Thank you, chef. I appreciate that. Paul. Yes, chef. You've been one of the best chefs since you arrived in this competition. And your passion, young man, is undeniable. Thank you, chef. Well done. Thank you, chef. After much thought, I have reached a decision. So I'd like both of you to step up to your doors, please. I want this so badly, I can barely compose my words. I've never wanted anything more. To win would be absolutely, absolutely life-altering. This is it, man. All I've been talking about for the last five years is how if I got into Hell's Kitchen, that was going to win for my mom. And now I'm one decision away. The chef whose door opens will become the winner of Hell's Kitchen and become the head chef at BLT Steak in New York City with a salary of a quarter of a million dollars. Will, place your hand carefully on top of the handle. Paul, place your hand very carefully on top of that handle. On the count of three, and not before, I'd like you to turn the handle. Are you ready? Yes, yes chef. chef! On the count of three. One. Two. Three. Service. I know. It sucks. I'd much rather would have won. I didn't come out here for second. I came out here for first. But if I had to lose to anybody, man, I'm glad it was Paul. Come here, bro. Give me a fucking head. You fucking earn that. You keep your fucking head up. All right. Up. All the fucking way. Yeah, bro. All right. How's this you with a Paul? Good job. Great job. If I had to win, I'm glad that I beat the best. I'd also like to thank my team tonight. We didn't do it for me. We did it for my mom. There's so much emotion going through me. I mean, sad, I'm happy, I'm ecstatic. My mom's looking down at me right now. She knows what I've been through. She knows how hard I've worked. This is all for her. I mean, this is it. Look at that. Oh, I cannot huh? be any more proud huh? of you. <laughs> There's one lady up there, I'm telling you, it's the proudest mum in the world. Don't she you ever forget that. We'll never forget that. Well done. Thank you, Chef. Good job. I can't believe this, dude. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Paul won tonight because he's probably the most passionate, determined chef to ever enter Hell's Kitchen. He will make a great head chef because his enthusiasm is contagious. I am so proud to hand him over to BLT Steak in New York City.